respectfully start off by submitting that the Bible states that uh, death, or rather love is stronger than death. Love is stronger than death. It says that in the book of uh, Songs of Solomon. And the Bible says that God is love. Amen. 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 God is what? Love. God is love. So we can say, since Jesus is God incarnate, mm. Jesus is stronger than death. Mm. And he is so strong that eternity had to reduce itself to three days. Mm. You missed that. Mm. <laughs> Jesus was such a hell raiser in hell that eternity had to make sure that it reduced itself to manageable proportions. And after the third day, it had to spit him out. Mm. Yeah. Mm. The Bible says that love is stronger than death, and God is love. So when Christ went to the grave, mm. love went to the grave. Mm. But the grave could only contain love for three days. Mm. Now the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten Son, that whomsoever should believe in him should not what? Perish, Perish mm. but have everlasting life. Mm. Mm. I want to show you guys something. We actually want to even open up the Bible. I want to take you to the book of uh, Jonah. <coughs> the Bible says that uh, God told Jonah to go on a mission to Nineveh. Mm. And when he told him to go on a mission to Nineveh, the Bible says that Jonah decided... In his own council, a council to go to Tashish. And the Bible says that he paid the price, the price of the fare to Nineveh. You know, whenever you are operating outside of the calling of God, there's always a price to be paid. Or let me put it this way if it's not God's project, then it won't be in his budget. If it's, if it's not God's will, it won't be in his bill. So, so Jonah now gets on this ship that is going to where? That is going to Tashish. But God had told him to go to where? Go to Nineveh. But the Bible says that he got in, and when he got in the ship, he went to the bottom of the ship and he slept. Now, one thing I've realized about a person who's out operating outside of calling, his calling, they become lazy. So when they became, he became lazy, he went to sleep, and after going to sleep, the Bible says a storm ensued. And when the storm ensued, it says that the, the crew members began to throw things 
off the ship. They thought that the thing that was going to sink the ship was the weight of the cargo, but what they didn't realize was that it was the weight of the calling. So Jonah goes to sleep at the bottom of the ship. And by virtue of the fact that he's in this ship, the rest of the crew members' lives are at risk. So I submit to you that Jonah is a type of an Adam. Jonah is a type of an Adam. And the rest of the crew members are a type of humanity. By virtue of the fact that Jonah, Adam, sinned against God, yeah. all of us sinned and we partook of that. Sure. By virtue of the fact that someone was operating outside of the calling of God, humanity was put at risk. The Bible says they began to throw things off and they, they came to a point where they went and consulted with him. They said, what is wrong with you? Why are you sleeping during a time when there are lives at risk? And the Bible says that he told them that he was a man of God. And after he told them that he was a man of God, they said, how could you, how could you run away from the calling of God? And the Bible says that they tried to preserve his life. And the Bible says by trying to preserve his life, they decided to peddle even the harder to try and save him. We can honestly say that their efforts to try and save their lives is man trying to save himself outside of Christ. Them trying to save themselves and peddle more harder is them trying to say that we can work it through works. Yes. But what they didn't understand was that unless Jonah took the fall, they were not going to be saved. Unless Christ took the fall, humanity was not going to be saved. Amen. So the Bible says that there came a time where they said, you know what, we've done all that we could do. Because another thing I've realized about whenever you're operating outside of calling, you waste people's resources. You know how many animals were killed by virtue of the fact that, they, that Adam sinned? There had to be a sacrificial offering every single year. Yes. Because Adam had sinned. Had he not sinned, there would not have been an offering. Whenever you're operating outside of the calling, there's always a price to be paid. And people's lives are put at risk. Not only that, you waste resources. Mm. But the Bible says that there came a point where they realized there was nothing they could do. Therefore, they had to throw him off the board. Could we say that them throwing him off the board is a type of a death of Christ? Had they not thrown him off the, the, off the ship, humanity would not have been saved. Amen. Amen. They had to throw him. And the Bible says that when they threw him off the ship, then what happened? The storm stopped. The storm of sin stopped. The storm of sickness stopped. Because Jesus was thrown off into the grave. Yeah. Thank you. So he goes into a stomach of a whale for three days. Could we say that the stomach of a whale for three days is dead? Is Jesus been in the, in the grave for three days? The devil thought that a knockdown was, was a knockout. But what he didn't understand it was, it was that Jesus had to just go and relax for three days. So when after three days the Bible says that he prayed to God and God said, you know what, okay, it's fine. If now that you are ready to go and do my will, what happens then? Then Jonah is spread out and he goes into Nineveh. And when he goes into Nineveh, he goes and tells the people there that, you know what? In 40 days, you're going to be destroyed. And the people repented and the whole city was saved. Amen. So we can say that this is the first Adam, the one who was in the ship, who endangered other people's lives. But the one who came out of the grave, he goes to save people. The death of Christ was important because had he not taken the fall, it meant that we would not have been saved. We were paying for the sins of Adam. When you see, you are not a sinner because you sin. You sin because you're a sinner. You are born a sinner. You are born into transgression. No matter how much you could have done, you could have tried to do, you would not have had a way to get to heaven. No matter how much you would have been such a good person. In fact, research has shown that a good person is most likely to sin 73,000 times in his lifetime. So Jesus had to die a vicarious death. In closing, you see, God is so holy and he is so righteous. 
But he had to find a way to save us. 